Oh, blimey. It's raining cats and dogs out here. <laughs> Wisconsin bringing the fair weather. It's getting ready for Ireland. Yeah, yeah that's where we're going, eh? We're going to Eau Claire. Eau Claire, yeah. Yeah, blimey, we'll see you there. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. You're saying it wrong. crew and welcome to today's very very different video and that is because your girl is about as intelligent as the crocodile dundee meets harry potter from the intro with my very poor accent i actually was very very unintelligent and forgot to check that my microphone was plugged in for this video so for the first time ever i lost all audio for this video so you'll have to bear with me but today i am at a place called mom's kitchen in eau claire wisconsin taking on their packer backer breakfast challenge so basically in front of me there is a giant four portion serving of their packer backer breakfast which includes cheese curds all sorts of veggies i believe there was green peppers there was jalapenos onions and then there was also bratwurst cheese eggs of course and then covered in hollandaise sauce and then on the side i had a double portion of their apple fritter french toast which was absolutely divine but i had one hour to finish everything in front of me if i was successful i got the meal for free a groovy t-shirt and a spot up on their wall of fame but here we go i got my hair pulled back we are digging in now i was following up randy had just gone with our good friend eager ethan teske right before me and done this challenge they both did an excellent job and i was super hungry going into this and it's also super unfortunate that I lost this audio because there was some amazing banter going on while I was eating this breakfast. It was a super chill environment. Everyone there watching was like family. And uh, yeah, there was a lot of poking on, a lot of ribbing going on there. But other than that, this was an absolutely delicious and very unique Wisconsin breakfast challenge. Having cheese curds mixed into a scramble and then covered in hollandaise was next level. And as you'll notice, I don't touch the ketchup at any point during this challenge and I believe I flaunt that at some point that I never got into the ketchup. It really didn't need it. The hollandaise was incredible. The eggs were fluffy. The hash browns were amazing and I don't think I mentioned there were hash browns in this at the beginning but I guess that's kind of obvious that hash browns were the base of the Packer Backer breakfast but yeah, anyways, it was absolutely wonderful. Here I am finishing up that Packer Backer breakfast and then about to dig into the lovely, lovely apple fritter French toast. So, ooh, final bite there. Plate looks pretty clean. And time for my favorite part, the dessert. And yeah, oh, we're digging in here, digging in. Ow. Oh yeah, you can see the reaction. I look like a happy camper and that's because I am. This was really, really, really yummy. So the owner was telling us that this is a homemade cinnamon apple, like French toast batter that they use here. And then it's absolutely covered in apple pie filling and then whipped cream. So I dug into this quite happily and I was enjoying this as a bit of a celebration because, and another reason I'm so bummed to have lost the audio here, this was going to be food challenge win 100. So this should have been a pretty momentous occasion for me. But yep, yeah, like I said, I got a little careless, didn't double check that the microphone was plugged in all the way and lost the audio as a result. So next week I will be back with audio. Of course, I learned my lesson. I do apologize for the lack of audio, but hopefully you guys still enjoyed this video. You can see how delicious the food looked here. It was absolutely wonderful, but I was able to come away with a win in 17 minutes and three seconds. This was a super delicious challenge, albeit I dug into it really soon and it was piping hot, but that is okay. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. 
a big thank you to Mom's Kitchen for having Randy, Ethan, and myself in to take on this challenge. Everything was absolutely excellent, and I 10 out of 10 recommend visiting there in the future if you can. But thank you all so much for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the next video. Okay, peace out. Bye. Thank you.